We're going to turn now to the Hocus Pocus sequel that premieres tomorrow. Deb Roberts sat down with the Sanderson sisters, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy Najimy. Good morning, Deb. Good morning, George. And what a treat to sit down with these three, a bewitching trio of women who've come to define Halloween for a generation of kids and their parents. And now with a new film coming out, and of course they didn't expect the old one to be such a hit, but now with a new one coming out three decades later, those unforgettable Sanderson witches are back, ready to stir up more mischief for a new crowd of kids. Lock up your children! Yes, Salem, we're back! It's official, the witches are back. Cause the witches are back! When you popped in the teeth, yeah. when Fred, did it feel like <laughs> She's old times? I've had, popped in those teeth over the years many, many times. It's been almost 30 years since the original. Can imagine. Can what was that it? first day Don't like? Don't look good 30 you years later? <laughs> I put a spell on you. In the 29 years since they cast their spell on us all, and now mine. Hocus Pocus has delighted children and their parents. Oh, come on, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. The Hollywood staple following Winifred, Sarah, and Mary as the magical trio ran amok in Salem. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. When it migrated to television, and they played it at Halloween week, or they played it just the night of Halloween, and then they played it oh, the week of Halloween, then they played the two weeks before, and then three, and suddenly it was a whole full month. It's been 30 years, so generationally what's happened is this generation has grown yeah. up and handed off to their kids. The other thing that I think is so special about this is that the, the audience is an incredibly diverse group of people. Did you ever, did any of you hesitate to think that this would be a good idea to, to do it again? I never did because I had such a blast the first time. When it finally became real, to my knowledge, we all said yes immediately. Yes. I do have to say that Kathy. What's your name again? <laughs> God, You're I'm so, so close. 30 Sorry. years have 30 years have passed. Oh, oh my, my God! God. I, you she's the keeper of the flame. For years, the people have been in touch with her, giving her, telling her, "You have to do another one." She really knows the fans. There's a there's, there's a lot of them. They're lovely, <laughs> slightly scary, but lovely people. <laughs> In the long-awaited sequel, the Sanderson sisters, played by Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Nittimi, conjure all the charm and magic of the original fan favorite with a modern twist. One of the things that I noticed right away is that this film looks more diverse than the one before. Was that something that was important to you this time around? Well, yeah. I, I, it was important. I think it was important to everybody. Mm -hmm. The uh, audience that has grown up with this film is, everybody. is everybody. So of course it's, you know, to everyone's interest, everyone's best interest to include everybody, to include everybody it's, in it. Which one do you like the best? <laughs> they don't say it's the line. Line. The bond with the Sanderson sisters is so clear, but there also seems to be a clear bond with the three of you formed over years We've with this. We've known each other for 40 years. 40 <laughs> 50 years. years well, say. We've known each other for 60 years. years. <laughs> We've known, I've known, I We've know, been I friends for 78 years. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you counting? Okay, 300. <laughs> Growing up, I was a sycophant fan of Bette Medler, so <laughs> I knew her and saw her so many times that she didn't see me. And I saw Bette on stage at 13. I too love Bette so much, and then we had the same voice teacher, and I would go after Bette. Marge would do the Casaladita, you yes. I would sit out in the lobby waiting, wow. and Bette would leave, and then Marge would let me do whatever vocal exercises Aww, Bette did. You never told me that. <laughs> the film nods to the fact that fans are obsessed with the characters and their costumes and what they wear. What is that like seeing that kids continue to don these costumes every Halloween? Even last night at, at the Premiere, I couldn't there believe was last night. I could not believe how perfect people of the effort. And they look great, don't they? No, it's yeah, they do. They it's look great. Not, I don't think it's possible for anybody to have as much fun on set as you three seem to. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't seen every movie ever made, but we sure did have a lot of fun.
they could not stop laughing. I tell you, fans of this film are counting down the hours until the next chapter of Hocus Pocus hits Disney Plus tomorrow. When the trailer dropped, more than 40 million people watched in the first 24 hours. And for the diehards, there is even a recreation of the Sanderson Cottage in Salem, Massachusetts, that's now being offered as an Airbnb for Hocus Pocus fans. So you guys can make your reservations <laughs> right away. So much fun, guys. Right. And it starts streaming tomorrow on Disney+. Plus. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.